So these are my little solar panels that keep my batteries inside charged in case there's a power outage. And I've used the power quite a bit, especially during the winter when the power goes out. I'll take you inside and show you how I've got it wired up and how I split the circuits and how I get to the power if I need it. so you can see I've got some two gauge wire going up to that inverter in the center and then the other two on the ends aren't hooked up so I'm gonna go ahead and change this I'm gonna open up this disconnect box and not uh, get those hooked up so that's next and BAM it's rewired what I've done is I've rewired all three of these inverters up here with their own set of wires and I used eight gauge heavy stranded wire and um, so now I have three zones and that's what I wanted I had this, these inexpensive 750 watt inverters and um, I got them all for under $100 so it was worth using three of them even though it wastes a little more power to run three I like the idea of having zones so in this box there are some uh, golf cart batteries and then um, over here is where I monitor the voltage and I just upgraded the uh, the um, charger controller which is here this is a ProStar 30 with a built-in meter it's really nice if you bought the Harbor Freight system and you ended up with these guys here these work but uh, this thing here is really nice you don't have to babysit your batteries. This thing will take care of everything. And um, so that's the latest I added this summer. I hope to add more panels. But uh, I've got the power running up through this conduit. There's the three circuits. And I have usage meters on two of them. And uh, I can put another one there. And then I've run them into this panel. And of course they go out. I'll show you how I wired up the building. It's completely independent of, you know, the power company. So I'll show you that now. Wherever I have equipment that distributes, you know, the computer, Wi-Fi or whatever, I always put one of these green boxes and that's what I've been working on. And this goes back directly to those inverters. So if we have a power outage situation, some of these I'm going to have to move manually, but the plug's right there. And wherever there's a main junction point, I have one of these green outlets. There's another one of those green outlets. You see I've got four plugs on it. And I've got it right near the pellet stove. So that, you know, I can keep that going in the event of a power failure. Might be hard to see, but this cable reel also is on the inverter and this is a, a green box as well and it falls down right into the back of um, this UPS power supply so it would be very easy to switch over to the green power just pull on the plug and she's ready to go yep there's another one of those green boxes so if I have a power failure these will work no matter what and you can see I've got it right by the switch and some router equipment. Quite a few connections in that one, isn't there? In addition to the whole office battery backup system, we also have quite a few of these UPS power supplies. And these are some of the batteries that we pull out to recondition and check. Because they go bad after sitting for a couple years. But uh, we probably have 15 UPSs at different workstations. So my glasses are dark. They're in sunglass mode from just being outside showing you those panels. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little tour of my emergency battery backup system that's solar powered. It's uh, been nice to be able to plug in when the rest of the place is dark. 
and it's especially useful in the winter time because that's when the power goes out the most it seems so if you're curious about anything else go ahead and leave me your comments down below and i'll try to answer them so we'll see you later bye for now